It was a dramatic rescue, and the remarkable video of it went right around the world. That's Toronto's Elise Aon being plucked by helicopter from a cliffside in Arizona on Friday. She got stranded on a narrow ledge while out on a hike, and Aon was stuck there for 24 hours until searchers finally found her and got her to safety. Well, some parents here may already be familiar with that name. Dr. Aon is the chief ophthalmologist at Toronto's Sick Children's Hospital, and she's with us now by phone. Elise, uh, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, talk about a traumatic experience. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm uh, very grateful, and uh, I can only feel in great mood despite my bruises and scratches. It, honestly, when you go through an experience like that, you can only see the good things in life. And um, I was blessed of having been rescued by such a given team. I have never seen that amount of professionalism and kindness. Mm. Uh, the amount of people that were involved and um, the direction from the sheriff to the paramedics to the helicopter crew was just, unbelievable. It yeah. was a, oh, really imagine. a spectacular team. Uh, Elise, take us back to Friday. When did you set off for your hike? Uh, on Thursday. Actually. Oh, on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, before breakfast. <laughs> it was meant to be a morning walk before breakfast. And uh, I found this nice trail, the A.B. Young Trail. And when I got to the top, uh, I was mesmerized by the beauty of the canyon. And could not find the trail back down because mm -hmm. it was only pine needles up there. When you set out uh, by yourself, did you think did you think to yourself, I might get lost? No, because it was a mark. It was a very well marked trail. It was only at the end that it was only a pine needle trail, and and it's funny because you know when you have that little inner voice that tells you maybe you should just stop here. And, and I had that, but I said, oh, I'm just 50 feet from the top. Why don't I just go to the top? And uh, I, should, I should have probably just stopped there when I felt that it was only the pine needle uh, trail. Mm -hmm. When did it set in that you were not finding your way back? What went through your mind? Well, I mean, when I got confused between what I thought was the human trail and then the animal trail, and I couldn't find my way back to the plateau on the top where I was, nor down. Uh, I knew I had to go down. I didn't have a phone because I had no reception at the bottom. And then I was told by the paramedics that you can still have reception at the top. And um, so I just, I had to go down. I had to go down. Mm -hmm. So I just went down. At any point, did you think that you were not going to make it? No, I refused. You were focused on surviving. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of time to spend on your own. What Friday. kinds of things went through your mind? Um, that I wouldn't give up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that was my only option. And how did, any, how did someone end up uh, become, becoming aware of where you were? Pardon me? How did they end up finding you? Well, the resort where I was uh, called me missing. And the other place, the spa, the Miyamo, where I was supposed to check in, called me missing. So that launched a, that launched a search. And then um, I just improved on my yelling. Mm. And <laughs> I got hurt by a dog. And so it's really the dog that I'm very grateful for, Pebble. Wow, so you're crying out for help. Somebody heard you. Did you hear that person, and did you know the help was coming? Um, after a while, so I, once I made the dog bark, I knew that there would be a person, and so I made the dog bark more and more. And then a person came out, and it took a few times, and um, then they told me they would call rescue. They were very far, so we, it was hard to communicate. It took a long time. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine so the relief you must was, have felt to see someone. Yeah, it was great. Elise Sedona is a it's pretty lovely place. It's beautiful. Any chance you'd go back? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, not alone. <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> Lessons learned. Elise, uh, it's a remarkable story. Uh, I got to say, the watching the rescue, it's incredible. Thank you so much for taking the time to okay. uh, share your story with us. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you.